Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use PBR. Now PBR means physically based rendering, which pretty much means that sun rays and light can affect um, materials. Now previously, what all that will be is there'll be an image, um, and light will just reflect on that, you know, really randomly. There'll be it will look really flat and off. Whereas PBR pretty much means that light reflects off these objects. So for example, here this is a low resolution version, but at distance it looks fantastic what this does is it reflects really nicely paired this with some bit of atmosphere and some water this is a highly realistic thing inside of the roblox engine as you can see everything looks absolutely incredible in this we've got birds flying around everything looking amazing and in this video i'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about this and how to do it so yeah let's get right into this Okay, so here we are inside of Roblox Studio, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this point here underneath lighting, which is called Material Service. If you don't have this enabled, go to File, Beta Features, and then go ahead and make sure Material Service is on just here. And now with that on, what this will do, if you head to our properties here, is what it does is it overrides previous materials inside of Roblox. Now if you click on one of these, we have no materials right now. That's because we haven't created one. Now let's go ahead and create a material variant. What this is, is, is an object inside a material service right here. And as you can see, called material variant. We're just going to click on that. And when we click onto this, as you see, we've got some properties here. Now the base material is what material you want to base it on. So this could be any of these previous built-in materials. So for example, I'm going to be making a ground one, so I'm going to be using grass. So I want base material, and I'm going to go to grass. Now these one, two, three, four things here pretty much define everything about PBR material. Uh, PBR, as I said earlier, stands for physically based rendering and is created in a third party software. And these maps, for example, come together, like the color, the bump of it, and the like I guess metalness and roughness work out how light reflects and what this does is we can actually go ahead and create you know a really nice looking material that is 3D realistic and works with the surroundings really nicely okay so what we need to do is we need to actually you may be wondering what you do here well you're going to have to upload these onto Roblox so I am going to go ahead and do that a good place to find these PBR is ambiencecg.com as you can see you can just explore or and as you see, we have all of these assets available. So for example, I like this ground here. I can simply click on it. And there we go. We have different sorts of the um, uh, resolution. So I would always go for a 2K or 1K. A uh, robot doesn't support anything higher. Um, it shows here what we would look like in flat. And yeah, pretty much you're going to download it. And when you've got those files, you need to upload them. And I'll see you back there. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and uploaded these to Roblox. You just need to simply press on this. If you have a published place, it'll come a drop down. But you probably guys know how to upload to Roblox. And when you've uploaded these to Roblox, you should be able to have the whole thing pretty worked out. Okay, so subspot tile pretty much means um, how many, what a tile is. Is it your standard little picture you have? So um, just the picture you have, that's one tile. So how many studs does it take to fill that tile is this value here. Okay, now... Let's actually change our base plate here. Let me just get rid of this texture and we're going to change this to grass. And first of all, you won't see any change. It'll just be the standard Roblox grass. Now this looks pretty rubbish, okay? It's an old but really old texture now. Now it looks really rubbish and you may be wondering what we have our variant. What we need to go is go onto the material service, go to the grass and select the override to material variant. And as you can see, when it decides to load, there we go, we have our grass nice and loaded in um you may not be able to see the effects of the pbr right now that's quite interesting because here in lighting um our lighting probably isn't up to scratch so what i'm going to do let me just get rid of all of these bad bits of lighting if i'm actually going to go ahead and use the atmos plugin um created by ltob we can go and press cloud of the sky apply and yeah already that is looking so much nicer just put atmosphere there just like that um, and then sun rays just like this and then we can just decrease the intensity a little bit there we go um, yeah the color of the grass should also be changed this base plate just look a bit off we can change this to more like a green color and there we go already that is looking so much better okay so yeah I'm going to come back to you guys with a different PBR material okay so I've now uploaded this absolutely stunning looking um, I don't know autumn autumn looking ground which is what I was called um, it looks like all the leaves have been fallen honestly this looks absolutely stunning now that's so that's the first version of PBR and that is replacing 
um, materials. Let's actually look at the second part, which is by using mesh parts, which I use in the demonstration. To do this, we need to only use mesh parts. It doesn't work on normal parts. So if you add a mesh part here, and let's just give this some random bits of scaling so we can kind of see what's going on. We only works with mesh parts because, I don't know, for some reason that's just how Roblox does it. Um, we can go like this and add something called a surface appearance. Now you may be wondering why this is different to the uh, material service because you can have unlimited surface appearances. But then it's also got a downside. For example, you it, like stretches out. You don't get a repeating tile like you get with um, material service. Although I'm pretty sure there's a hacky way of doing that. I, I don't recommend that. So yeah, here as you can see, we can kind of add the same things which we added in our material service. So let's just do that. And there we go, we now have added this lava. Now as you can see, it does look a bit weird. It doesn't look as good as the material service, I can say. And as you can see, like I said earlier, it stretches. So what you would have to do is you would have to dupe this tile like multiple times, which does look, again, does look a bit off when you do it a couple of times. Um, it doesn't really look as good as the material service. But this is also, but of course, for some things like meshes, you can't use materials. So this is really your only option. And especially if you want to use more than the designated amount of materials, this is the only thing you can do. Now, of course, for this canyon thing, which I used at the start of the video, of course, I didn't make this, guys. This is made by some amazing other developer. So I'm going to actually go ahead and link that in my Discord server if you go ahead and check that out on the resources channel. Um, yeah, what all you want to do if you want to actually like change it how I had it before if I went to the part terrain plugin uh, went like this uh, to water made it water here and then just gone into terrain and made like the water transparency to one and changed the color of it to like more orange and yeah there we go we pretty much have our terrain here uh, I think the atmosphere was a bit more thick more like that there you go and yeah that is pretty much how you use PBR thank you very very much for watching this video it means so much to me and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye and stay safe.